Miami Beach is known for its Art Deco flair and turquoise waters. But just off the coast of this colorful city lies an underwater world in decline. Coral reefs protect our shorelines against the impacts of storms and waves. And they're the speed bumps of the ocean. But coral reefs are declining and suffering around the world. Florida is not the exception. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has recently confirmed a fourth global mass bleaching event, the second in the last 10 years. The number one threat to corals on a global basis is climate change. Increases in temperature, changes in ocean chemistry, changes in storm patterns. Diego Lerman leads a team that's testing an innovative approach to coral reef restoration. I run the Rescue Reef Lab at the University of Miami. We're working with scientists across fields to design and implement hybrid reefs that will protect the shoreline, but it will also function as a natural coral reef providing all of those ecosystem services that we expect from healthy coral reefs. For more than 15 years, Lerman's lab has been growing and testing coral colonies in these nurseries to maximize survival out at sea. Right now, in our tanks, we have about 2,000 corals here. We're also trying to understand why some corals survive while others in the same environment die. And then we're using that information to propagate those corals, you know, to create climate-resistant corals. And this unique storm simulation tank has played a fundamental role in developing their eco-reef experiment. This facility is able to replicate conditions that you commonly see during a hurricane category five in terms of wave conditions. Our aim is to design artificial structures that will mitigate wave impacts so that when the waves hit the shoreline, they're shorter and have less energy. The artificial reefs are part cement, part coral. Lerman says the cement base alone is capable of reducing wave action by 60 to 70%. When you cover these structures with corals, then you get an added benefit of about 15 to 20 percent. So combine these two approaches will reduce wave energy and wave height by about 80 to 90 percent, which is what we want to protect our shorelines. Today, Lerman and his team are heading out to check on the artificial reefs they deployed about a year ago. We haven't been to this site in a while, so um, you know, curious to see how the corals look, how the structures look. So when they first were installed, they were just completely bare and we've seen a whole fish community form there. We've seen turtles and sharks and rays and we've also seen the corals grow and flourish there, which has been really awesome. So we've been studying those two small structures for about a year, learning, getting information about what works, what doesn't work. So over the next couple of years, we are going to be expanding the scale of the artificial reef significantly. Lerman hopes these hybrid reefs can serve as an example for other seaboard cities around the world. The ecosystems that we love are just a fraction of what they were 30, 40, 50 years ago. So we need to protect our shorelines and nature-based solutions and hybrid reefs are one effective, cost-efficient way of doing that. <laughs>